This is Tony with Level Website Development. Today we're going to go over a tutorial on how to add products and categories to the Zencart shopping cart system. As you can see, we're logged in here. We'll just go to Catalog, Categories and Products. Just click on Categories and Products there. Okay, now as you can see, we have one category already in there. We're going to go ahead and add a new category. We're going to name this category Baby. We'll just type in a short description. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to add a picture to that. Click on the Browse button there. And pick your, choose your picture. And go ahead and press save and as you can see there's our new baby and to add a subcategory you just click on the same thing okay and then pick, pick new category under that baby category section now we're not going to add a new category in this one we're just going to go ahead and add a new product click on new product Okay, and this is how you add a new product here. You can see where you can pick it, whether it's in stock or out of stock. In this case, it's going to be in stock. Um, this date available, uh, this is going to be available right away, so we don't have to worry about putting a date in there. Product manufacturer, of course, we don't have a specific product manufacturer since we're going to go ahead and manufacture this product ourselves. Product name, this name, the product of this, the name of this product is a little boy. Okay. And let's go on down the line here. The product is not free, and the product does not call for at call for price since we're going to have the price on s on the website. The product is going to be priced by attributes, and I'll show how to do attributes in another tutorial. Uh, tax class is it's going to be a taxable good, so we're going to add taxable goods in there. Uh, the product in normal cases, this is where we'd put the price under uh, product price there. Um, we're not going to put a price in there this time because we're going to be pricing it by attributes and I'll show you how to do that as I say in the other tutorial. Um, there is going to be shipping on this. It's not a virtual product. So we're going to keep that as no. Um, product minimum and maximum. If you have a minimum amount that you want somebody to order, for instance if they have to order three, then you would put minimum three. Let's say you don't have any more, somebody cannot order more than ten at a time, then you put a maximum order of ten. Okay, and if they order 11, it will not let them. Okay, product description. Here's where you just pop a little description. And you can just type in things. I'm just typing in words right there. Uh, this is where you pop in the quantity of the product. Now, this is important. Um, let's say we have 100 in stock. Okay, so we're just going to pop 100 in there. This is where you pop in the product model number if you happen to have the model number. In this case, we do not. Okay. Now let's go ahead and add a picture to the product. Okay. If you have a specific product URL that you want people to be able to find that, you can type that in there. We're not going to worry about that today. Uh, product weight. If they're if you're going to be shipping a product, this is very important to be able to charge by shipping. Uh, if you have multiple weights, you know, might want to just kind of average things in there here. Um, let's go ahead and put five pounds. Uh, the sort order. Okay, this is important when you want to what order you want it displayed. We want this number one, so we're going to put one in there. Okay, now we're just going to press, you see over here, you see the preview button. We're going to go ahead and press the preview button. Okay, and as you can see, we've got the product in there. Um, it shows you what we've kind of put in there here. It gives a little brief description, and I'm happy with what we've got, so we're going to just press the insert button. Okay, and as you can see, the product's in there. Uh, and that's it for this tutorial. Thank you.